Hey guys, what's up? Bisectotron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next base destruction video. And in this one, we're taking a look at another Town Hall 9, um, kind of an interesting base. This is from the war against the modding clan, um, but luckily, I mean, the attacks are still able to be shown from our side because, uh, you know, you can't mod on defense, I guess. Um, because there were some good uh, def uh, attacks from our side. And sorry about the March Madness notification. Hopefully it doesn't appear too much, too many times in this video, because I am keeping track of that too. Um, but looking at this base, let's just talk about how it's set up a little bit. Then we'll get into the details, because there were three attacks on it. Uh, the third attack was the one that got the three star. So this is kind of a triangular base. And I say that because uh, for hogs, at least from that perspective, which is tip what you'd want to use against this base given the layout, is there's three things you want to try to take out. Um, that's the double giant bombs, the queen, and uh, yeah, all four, all four giant bombs and the queen. And you can see here, uh, it's kind of made in the triangle here. You know, not trying to make this base into an Illuminati, but that's just how it's set up. So uh, this opens itself up to a few different possibilities of how to attack. Uh, the Teslas are drawn in blue, by the way. Um, random line up there, but anyway. Um, one possibility is to come with a big kill squad through the base like this, um, kind of go in between the sets of double giant bombs and get to the queen that way. I uh, might need two jumps or something like that, but it is doable. Um, that's one way to do it. Uh, I think another way you could do it would be to do like a queen walk or something or a king. Use like one of your heroes um, to get in here, take out the queen here, um, and then maybe you could do a kind of a smaller kill squad to get in here maybe a few sacrificial hogs here. Another way to eliminate the double giant bomb spots, but this is a good base to hog because you have big hog lanes. You have one here, um, you have one like that. Um, those are great places to send your hogs through. And uh, if you come with a big kill squad like that, you can send the hogs around like this. Um, so just a lot of possibilities uh, for this base. Um, the first attacker, I think it is Smash, and he actually has a pretty good plan for the base. Just doesn't quite go well. Well, a few things go wrong, but anyway, the plan, uh, he comes in with some wall breakers. Um, wall breakers in here, actually, first I'll try the golems. Comes in with two golems, so like one here, one here. Uh, drops wizards to create his funnel, the queen, all that normal stuff for funnel creation plus the queen. But the one thing he does is he, um, he waits too long on the wall breakers, so by the time they open this up, uh, both these defenses are dead, so the golems don't reroute on in. And just because things die before the wall breakers can let them into the next layer of the base, the queen peels off this way along with one of the golems. So one, a queen and a go the go his queen and one of the golems doesn't enter the base. Um, he has two jumps uh, for the Valks, so he goes ahead and uh, starts dropping them. Ends up dropping one like in this area. He probably didn't even need the wall breakers. Probably just could have jumped right here, then jumped right here again. Uh, but whatever the reason, just things go wrong. The kill squad doesn't get enough of the base. Still, though, he sends the hogs in like this on that hog lane I talked about. Works out very nicely, actually. Um, almost gets the three star, but the kill squad didn't get enough uh, for the amount of troop space he invested in it. And because of that, doesn't quite get the three star. But we'll take a look at the attack, and then we'll come back to you, Doodle, to do the next one. All right, so here we go with the attack. Uh, looking at Smash taking on 16. Uh, comes in with the two golems, like I said, uh, dropping down wizards, just creating the funnel, pretty normal stuff. Uh, like, like I said, the queen comes down right here. Um, everything is going down, all this trash buildings. They're starting to take out the first layer of the base here, but these wall breakers should have been down earlier. I think he had kind of a split on them too. It's kind of a weird wall breaker situation. Like I said, I think he could have done it with just two jumps had he j dropped the jump right in that junction, uh, right there to let everything on in. But right here, um, both the defenses are down, so the golem on the top isn't rerouting. It's going to be stuck on the wall for the rest of the attack. Here comes the king, the Valks, though. It works out okay just because it's a lava hound in the CC, so the queen isn't needed to deal with it, and she wouldn't have been much help anyway because she just would have got stuck on it. Um, drops a wizard, which just kind of helps the lava hound bust. Not that helpful, uh, but comes in with the Valks. Here's the heal for them, keeping them moving through. Has to pop the queen's ability because that golem is still stuck on the wall. Uh, just because that air sweeper's up in that compartment. So the queen goes down, uh, but comes in here. Uh, king, I think they beat through that wall, so that jump might have been helpful to let them keep moving forward. But they, they get through the wall, take out the enemy queen. That's all down. Here come the hogs. 
Um, only has one heal for them though, drops it right there. Uh, the Valks are still up, taking out that Town Hall. Goes ahead and drops the jump to let them keep moving. Uh, but it's just a little bit too late. You can see right here, the last few Valks are going to go down before the Hogs can get into the area. So the Hogs won't get the benefit of them tanking. And the Valks won't get the benefit of the Hogs taking out the defenses that are targeting them. So just kind of the wrong timing there. Uh, not his fault, it's just how it worked out. And uh, these last few Hogs are going to go down right here. One more heal would have helped. But even though the beginning of the attack kind of got screwed up in that one Golem is at full health, uh, still actually got very close to getting through this base. There's Archer Tower and Tesla almost went down, then only had two other defenses besides that. So very close attack for Smash. Good try. Uh, the plan was solid. Let's see what the next attacker did based off what he saw in this one. And I probably should fast forward. <laughs> I'll let you guys watch the rest of the attack because it's just some wizards beating on this. Um, but as you can see, it gets a few more buildings taken out. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Good attack to smash. Uh, the blueprint was solid. Just uh, couldn't quite get the troops to go the way it was intended. So uh, like I said, let's take a look at the next attack, how it was planned out. So Warlord watches the attack on that base, uh, comes in with a little bit of a different plan now, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what he was trying to do here. Um, drops down a few things to create the funnel, does a queen walk like this. I believe the queen steps up and gets this air defense, so trying to eliminate the double giant bomb spot. Uh, the queen does fine, she actually gets pretty good value. Um, I don't think he even uses a rage, but she gets around, takes out you know most of this part of the base, um, and then sends in the two golems and the king, and I think this is the part of the attack that kind of uh, lost it for him, didn't get in the three star, because he comes in with two golems here. Uh, he actually drops a jump a little bit later right here. The goal was basically to take out the queen and eliminate this double giant bomb spot. Now, there's a lava hound in the CC, but here's the problem. There's, there's so much HP that the king has to get through to get to that double set. I mean, he can take out the queen pretty easily because he'll aggro onto her, but there's so much HP that there's not enough damage that's going to come from the king to uh, get through here before he gets taken out. So he has two golems tanking for him, but uh, for his, the low level king, which I think is level 20 or something around there, um, he's not going to be able to get through all this uh, without the help of any other troops. Now you, you might think there would be a few wizards, which there are, but they just get stuck on the Lava Hound because um, the Lava Hound doesn't go to the Queen, it's still in the CC. Uh, so it comes out, hops on one of the golems, and the wizards get stuck on it. So basically just very slow moving through, the, through this uh, compartment just because there's no other damage dealers. So I'm not a big fan of bringing two golems and just the king. If you're bringing that amount of tanking, uh, I would recommend, you know, uh, invest a few Valks or at least uh, make sure the Lava Hound isn't going to uh, aggro your wizards because the wizards do a lot of damage and they're pretty cheap just to, to toss a few in behind the golems. But needed some other source of damage because things die right here. So that double uh, set is still up. Um, sends in the hogs like that let them come through a few die to that double set just because it's still up and then because the angle they come from a few more go to that double set so just kind of a double bake in here uh, from both those double giant bombs doesn't get the three star but good plan most of the base is taken out once again because the queen comes around and gets like all of this so uh, both attacks very close let's take a look at this one then we'll see how the base was actually three starred alright here we go with warlords attack um, like I said, it's going to drop down a few minions, and yeah, his king was level 20, so that that's not going to do a whole lot of damage. That's not going to be able to get the job done. But anyway, the queen walk went very nicely. Um, only level 17 queen, but she gets her job done. Uh, right here, she steps up. Um, she'll go down for that mortar in just a moment. I'll go times two just because she takes a little while, but she'll get through that elixir storage. Um, hop down on these two buildings, get that air defense, which negates the double set. Um, or at least it should have, but the way he sent his hogs in, they kind of pathed over it anyway. Um, I'm not sure what the plan was, I think just a little bit unlucky there. Uh, but the devil set is pretty much, uh, it is kind of tampered with, which can uh, negate it. But anyway, the queen makes her way through. Um, there is a little bit of point defense down here, but he's going to use the ability. Ends up saving the rage for the king, which I didn't mention. Uh, there is a rage for the king, which does help a little bit, but I don't. It still wasn't enough in my opinion. Uh, but let's take a look at it. The queen taking a bit of damage up there, but uh, right now she's back to one point defense. Here come the two golems and the wizards. 
has quite a few wizards, but like I said, any of them that actually enter the base will get stuck on that Lava Hound. Um, the Queen, I think he, yeah, Queen's back to full health just because she got out of range of the point defense. But here come the Golems. Um, here, come the, here comes the King in just a moment. And uh, he has to go through each building one by one. Uh, drops down the Poison just to slow down the Queen. That was pretty good. Then the Rage in just a moment. Goes ahead and pops his own Queen's ability because she was taking a bit of damage. But there's the Rage. Uh, Going to keep everything Raged on up. Uh, drops the Jump down. But like I said, that one Wizard stuck on the Hound. That King uh, hasn't popped the ability yet, but now there's Skeleton Traps on him. There's a lot of damage going towards him. Pops the ability, but he's going down either way. That double set is not being triggered. Plus the enemy king's there. A lot of storage is in that compartment too. Just too much for him to get through. Um, yeah, there were a lot of high HP buildings, like some gold storages, elixir storages, various stuff that could have, you know, taken time for him too. Uh, but like, the queen kept walking. He might have intended to wall breaker the queen into the base at one point, because um, he does have three extra wall breakers. But maybe in the heat of battle, just didn't have time, forgot something. But uh, you might have saw that double giant bomb set go off. Then the last few hogs go down to the second one. Um, so good attack. Only two point defense left up. And he might have actually had the three star had the queen been wall breakered into the compartment up here. Because I think that was the plan. Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't talk to him about it. But um, it was very close, like I said. Just two more point defense. I think like two of the same point defense that were left up on the last attack. So good try. Also a very close attack. But uh, cheers to, I think it was uh, John... John Snow, I think, or Nano John, no, Nano John, who got the three star. So let's take a look at Nano John's plan and uh, we'll see how he uh, took down this base, got the three star. Uh, be right back. All right, so Nano John's plan is a little bit different still. Um, basically, he's coming in with a queen charge, uh, just dropping down the queen right here uh, with a few healers on her. He's just gonna let her kind of meander around uh, this area and eventually she's gonna uh, start stepping forward and he's gonna wall break her in um, to this compartment right here and uh, something funny actually happens because he drops the rage for the queen just because she's taking uh, so much damage because there's like three uh, four point defense kind of all in that area as you can see with the Tesla and everything uh, so drops the rage down but it actually affects the wall breakers too so a few of them even run forward and take out uh, this junction too. So it really lets the queen into this entire base. And she starts getting in here and doing some pretty serious damage. Um, then comes in with, kind of similar to the last attack, two golems uh, like that. And then um, wizards to create the funnel, obviously. And then um, sends in his king, you know, with wall breakers to open everything up. Uh, but a little bit different here for a few reasons. Let's talk about why uh, the king is going to get more damage because he's sending the king into the same area that um, the last attacker did. But here's the difference. Um, first of all, the Lava Hound comes out and locks onto the queen. So he has about three or four wizards that follow the king into the base, which is what you always want to have happen if it's just the king and golems. Has a few wizards coming in. They're doing a lot of damage. They're backing up the king, backing up the golems. Uh, so that works out nicely. Um, the queen also is taking out these defenses and also tanking, so the king doesn't have uh, any risk of getting out too far in front because a lot of the defenses are already distracted on other things. And um, the king is also a little bit higher level, which helps too. I think the king's like 25 or something, so he gets a bigger chunk of the base taken out, and he's not being expected to do as much. Um, I went, might have even come in with one golem less. I don't like bringing two golems and just the king, uh, but the wizards do help. And uh, I think the jump goes down. Maybe he doesn't jump. I can't remember now if he jumps or not. I think he might just to get in there, uh, let them keep moving forward. Gets the queen taken out, obviously. Um, we'll see if there's a jump. I, I'm totally blanking out on that. But anyway, comes in with the hogs here. Comes in pretty heavy with a heal, um, letting the hogs move forward. And uh, just does kind of sacrificial hogs. They blow up on this double set. But after the double set goes down, there's really only a few defenses left has like six hogs which he drops in here and this base is done um, so sacrificial hogs are a thing they can work nicely if you do them right um, and this attack goes very well so um, instead of talking about it, let's take a look at it and uh, see how nano john cleaned up this base 
All right, here we go with the attack. Um, <clears throat> like I said, starting off with the queen walk, uh, dropping her down, just letting her take out a few local trash buildings, and then she'll step forward a little bit more and start tanking for some more of these defenses. Drops down the rage because that Tesla will pop, plus the two archer towers are in the area. Uh, it's just a lot of damage going to that queen right now. Uh, so good placement on the rage right here. Because after that army camp goes down, she's heading kind of north. Um, it's a little bit low right there, maybe a little bit late on the rage, I guess. Uh, but the placement's good, and she's going to be left up. Uh, like I said, these wall breakers come in here, and that one under rage is enough to take down the Lego wall. Uh, the wall goes down. That entire uh, junction's been opened up as if you drop like some quakes or something. So great value there. Um, I'm pretty sure that was unintentional, but... Uh, extra bonus, the queen can step forward even farther, uh, which is nice. Lava Hound comes out, starts aggroing the queen, she'll deal with it. Then comes in with the two golems. Um, what Goes ahead and waits on that second one, just because there's no need uh, to let it take unnecessary splash damage from the mortar and the wizard tower. So, um, nice little touch there. Comes in with the, uh, excuse me, there's the jump, didn't wall break her in. Just drop the jump, which works out fine. And then look at this, the king goes in, but also I think that's three, yeah, three wizards backing up the king um just so much more damage and uh it, it's worth it also like i said the queen took out that big bunch of defenses so the king is not taking much damage he's kind of free to walk around do his thing uh the golems are going to take out that air defense and keep moving forward with the jump so getting good value for everything so far um the king just hops back compartment so it's tanking for actually three point defense so awesome there the hogs won't have to take as much damage I think these two golems get stuck on the wall here just because they uh, hesitated for so long, uh, but they eventually make their way through, or actually they get stuck on that wall, but anyway, uh, coming in with the hogs here, like I said, um, there is quite a bit of damage coming at them, but uh, they're able to get it taken out, um, and then th that's the sacrificial group of hogs, like I said, uh, so right here, they're going to get blown up by the double giant bomb set, but um, it's fine, has six more hogs, which will drop right in just a moment, and uh, that'll be plenty. The queen is still up, which helps, pops the ability. She'll take out most of the defenses anyway, uh, but the hogs help out as well, and this base is pretty much done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, always love doing a base destruction video for you guys, uh, so make sure to drop a like and a comment uh, after watching. But anyway, uh, coming out with more stuff soon. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.